Okay. Yep. All right. Good. So, Marcus, uh, talk about Virtual RAN. Where are we in the process, and what is Virtual RAN? Well, Virtual RAN is the idea of taking that box that sits at the base of a cell tower. You've seen the cell towers out there in uh, your environment. At the bottom of that is a box that is in an enclosure that has the base station processing. So it takes the radio signal, processes it, and sends it towards the network. Uh, the problem with that is that box has fixed capacity. It gets deployed out there on the concrete slab, and it's always that size. It needs environmental control. It needs power. So, in fact, there's an optimization of being able to take that box and take it out of that outside environment and actually take the functions and run them in the cloud. So that's what Virtual RAN is about. It removes the need for environmental control, for powering, for real estate at the bottom of a tower. And also it increases the performance because I can now add more capacity on demand in my cloud function that I couldn't do when I was doing it in physical boxes at the bottom of a cell tower. So it improves the performance of uh, a cell tower and cell uh, networks in general. The problem is, of course, to move that function away, I need lots of fiber because I need to send all the data now to the cloud that used to be handled locally. So it will take a little while for us to get there, but we're working on novel architectures with Intel and with others that will allow us to use less fiber to virtualize the base station and therefore enable it sooner. Sooner in this case probably meaning you'll see virtual RAN being commonly deployed in the 2016 time frame and maybe it's the basis of 5G, uh, we think, uh, which will be 2020. So think 2016 onwards, virtual RAN will become more and more of a big thing. Well, you pay, on your panel you talked about leave the box at home. Yep. So I take that to mean you won't have to put additional environmentals out there. You'll be relying on the fiber backhaul. Yep. Um, just now you talked about 5G, 2020. What do you mean by that? Well, the industry is currently working on what's beyond LTE. LTE is commonly uh, referred to as 4G. And, and so we're looking at what 5G would be. And, and there's a sense that we have is it really is about doing everything we're proposing, which is virtualizing the control plane, having highly distributed uh, computing and radios that essentially are everywhere. They surround the user. So it almost creates this digital skin or wireless skin that you can access constantly under common control that sits in the cloud. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much. Good. You familiar with RCR? Yes, I am. Okay. Well, we appreciate you uh, taking time.